Welcome everyone! In today's video, I would like to show you how to get this cool and unique mount called the Stone Vault Mech Suit. Although this mount has its listed source from the Stone Vault, it's not as simple as getting the mount directly from the last boss. There are a few more steps and a lot more grind included in getting this beauty. And yes, I was fortunate enough to get the drop. Without any further ado, let us get right to it. So the first thing you have to do is to get the malfunctioning mech suit from the last boss of the Stone Vault dungeon on Mythic difficulty. Since the start of the War Within, Mythics can now be run once per day. Also, the Stone Vault is in the current M plus rotation, so you could farm this dungeon the whole day on plus twos. Once you get the malfunctioning mech suit, you will not get anything in your inventory. You will instead get a quest to talk to a speaker Jerlax in the Gundagas, here on the map. He will then give you three more quests, one after another, each requiring you to get a trinket from three different dungeons. A quick and quite an important reminder, the quest you get is Warbound, meaning that you could finish one part of the quest on one character and the other parts on other characters. The first quest requires you to collect the overclocked gear array launcher, which drops from the Master Machinist boss in the Stone Vault dungeon. This trinket seems to be lootable by every class and every spec, so no need to change your loot spec or character. After you turn in the first quest with the trinket, he will ask you to get him the Synergistic Brutalizer, which drops from the last boss of the Cinderbrew Midori dungeon. This is where things start to get really annoying. This is an intellect trinket, meaning that you can only obtain it as the class whose main stat is intellect. Here I advise you to change to another alt character that can loot it, or if possible change your loot spec, which is the way I did it on my protection paladin. This seems to be the hardest part of the quest for many people. Wasn't for me though, the last part took me the longest. After you turn in the second trinket, you will need to get the last one, and that is the Baron of the Candle King. This trinket drops from the Candle King, who is the third boss in the Dark Flame Cleft dungeon. This one took me the longest to get, another intellect trinket. I did this one like 20 times with holy loot spec and got nothing. Then tried going healer and got it my first try. Interesting, but probably just a coincidence. All of the three trinkets mentioned can be obtained both from normal and heroic difficulties of the dungeons, so don't bother going mythics. People are running these for the same reason, to level their alts or to get some quick gear on their fresh level 80 characters. Some quick tips from my experience. First is to not do the follower dungeons. There is very little to no loot from bosses when you do the follower dungeons. Many comments on Wowhead have also mentioned this, so don't bother with these. Second is to not forget to change your loot spec if you are doing this on your main, who isn't usually an intellect class, for example for the last two trinkets. Third is to have some friends or guildmates to help you. The more people can loot the trinkets, the better. The fourth tip is to stay calm and don't lose your sanity. It's a long grind, but many of us have endured much worse. The trinkets don't have high drop rates, but there are items with much lower drop chance we have farmed in the past. <clears throat> and the last, but not least, if you're doing this on only one character, I advise you to complete the whole dungeon, since once you leave a dungeon, you will get the infamous Deserter debuff, which will prevent you from farming these trinkets for 30 minutes. And that's it for the video. Remember to keep calm and endure. The mount looks cool and is worth the grind. For today, the random question is, which chocolate is your favorite? White, milk or dark? Let me know in the comments. For me, I have always liked milk the most, but recently I have started enjoying dark chocolate a lot, so it might be higher at the moment. As always, thank you so much for watching the video, like it if you liked it and make sure to buff the subscribe button with rallying cry. Thanks again for watching the video and I'll see you all in the next one. Later!